I can't remember who the admissions officer was. She was, she looked like Audrey Hepburn, so that was also a good sign. And she said, um, well, this is more. Where we are the oldest woman's art college in the country. It was like I actively fell in love with it, with Audrey Hepburn taking me around through the school. And um, not long after, I got the acceptance letter. I remember opening it and I screamed um, at my parents' front door and I ran in showing them this. More has always meant a lot to me, and I felt that. I was finally in company of people that were like my tribe. I came out of there feeling equipped. It was just the right amount of aspirational aesthetics and just the right amount of reality. When I was a vice president at Claiborne, we'd go back and forth to Europe two times a year, Paris and London. When I was at Talbot's as a vice president, um, we went again, Paris, London. Having worked as I did for so many years in, in corporate, I wanted to do something that reflected the way I felt about clothes, the way I felt about how women want to look. My clothes are truly designed and yet they're designed to be worn. They're not events all, all of themselves. This blouse that I'm wearing is called Juliet. It was our first blouse. And right off the bat, we sold 500 of it. We're made in New York, totally. And we have like a three block radius where everything happens. Everything is right here. Buttons, fabric, trim, everything. So, um, and the energy is here. This is hundreds of little applique chiffon. We call this winter violets. This is ease. It's got the three-quarter sleeve. Um, I love this little collar. I think it's seductive and, and kind of proper at the same time. It's a re-embroidered um, organza. And I liked the idea of taking something that's very feminine, very pretty, and making it structured. This is our skort. It's a skort, see? It's a onesie. And um, you're channeling your inner, inner Rita Hayworth in this. Um, and it has back, it's cut in here at the sleeves, and the print is just fabulous. It's this gorgeous butter ground and it's got these, these insane tropical flowers all over it. And you can feel it's light as can be. So it could be 102 degrees and you're comfy cool. Yes. The pony, the green pony. This, the this what you call a pony? pony, pony, yes. Why is it called a pony? If ponies were green. Yeah, ponies. Okay, and the cool thing about this, this is, this is absolutely rigid, but the whole body of the jacket is knit and it's a knit lining. So it gives you movement and ease and it's, it's forgiving for a busy woman. Deanna Vreeland nailed it. She said, um, the eye must wander. And there's no better place for the eye to wander than Manhattan. Um, I can't tell you why this suddenly looked great to me. I can't tell you why that color citron over there struck me. Maybe I saw it like a year ago uh, as a scarf in some girl's hair. I don't know. But somehow it all gets like, like a big blender mashed together. And it comes out as this or it comes out as that. 